Hi everyone, my name is Aiden from Bali Bodyboarding and you are watching Bodyboard Hacks where we break down all things bodyboarding. So you might have noticed over the last couple of months one of our team riders, Ryan Hardy, has been getting right into his stand-up bodyboarding. As is coming into summertime in the Southern Hemisphere, we thought we'd do a tutorial on how to stand up on your bodyboard so that you can have loads and loads of fun when the waves are a bit smaller. We hope you enjoy this video. Hey guys, Coach Harples here with my Stoogie frock on today. Got my uh, new 2019 Hardy Shapes V1 model. It's a versatile model uh, built with length and adequate width for prone DK and Stoogie. But I'm here today to talk about uh, where to stand on the board to be able to hold the rail, not slide out, being a board with no fins. And um, yeah, just basically a simple entry level um, little spiel about how to stand, where to stand up on your board and how to hold a rail because that's what it's all about being on a boogie with no fins. It's all about getting your weight on the rail and having the rail sink into the way to be able to drive off the bottom and drive down the line. So whether your stance is natural or goofy, it's your back foot which is all important. So a normal surfboard with fins, you're going to be putting your board at the, your foot at the back of the board over the fins. But obviously we've got no fins here on the boogie so we want our foot to go right on the edge, just like we do in drop knee. We want the foot to go right on the corner. It can be preferably in this back corner. And that pressure there on the rail, and the front foot in the, uh, not too close to the back so that the board's going to be flapping up. You want it at least halfway up the board, can be up near the plug. But the main thing is pressure over this back foot, weight over this inside rail. So the board is actually going to flex at the point where your foot is and that's where it works in drop knee and prone, is the board flexing at the point where your weight is leaning onto the rail. So getting this foot here at like a 45 degree angle from the tail towards the rail, right as close to the rail as you can without your toes slipping off and get to catching the water. On the rail, holding the edge, and yeah, for me it's one of the, the sickest feelings, like sliding and biting into a face, no fins, and you're just totally skimming on the water. And, light and getting your arms out, it's just a sick feeling. And um, yeah, I hope you can get a get the hang of it and enjoy the stool feeling. Whack. <laughs> so there you have it guys, a beginner's guide to riding your bodyboard standing up. If you want to connect with Ryan, the best place to do it is on Instagram, so check him out, at Hardballs. And even better, if you want to come and ride with Ryan right here in Bali, his camps start in March 2020, and you can see all the dates and details at balibodyboarding.com. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and we look forward to seeing you next time.